Well, good morning. Do you want to be happy? I, I want to be happy. Remember that little song we used to sing when we were kids? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. You know, you just sing that little song. It just kind of makes you happy. You used to sing that before class and school when we were little. You used to sing that at Sunday school sometimes. You know, we, we, uh, uh, we, we spend a lot of money trying to be happy. And we think that, that sometimes if we have a, a new toy or a new thing, that that will make us happy. Um, sometimes people swap relationships that they're not supposed to. They decide that a different wife or different husband will make them happy. And, uh, you know, I, I'm here to tell you this morning that doing things outside of God's way ain't never going to make you happy. If you want to be happy, you need to do things God's way. Kind of like Phil Robertson says about happy people. Happy, happy, happy. That's the way we want to be. I want to be. I like to be happy. I don't like to be sad. I don't like to be angry. I don't like to be uh, so eat up with, with nerves and worry that, that I can't get anything done, that my mind's just running around and around in circles. So how do you be happy? Well, I, I just reading my Bible this morning here and and uh, Jesus, he's speaking to his disciples in the upper room prior to his crucifixion. And he says there, uh, <clears throat> verse 16 of chapter 13, Verily, verily, I say unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. So we're not greater than our Lord. Our Lord is Jesus. We're not greater than him. Neither he that is sent greater than he that sent him. Okay? And so Jesus is going to send his disciples. Uh, he's the sender. His disciples are the sent ones, his apostles. That's what that means, the sent ones. Verse 17, if ye know these things, happy are ye if ye do them. What things? Well, he just, he just washed the disciples' feet. And he says in verse 15, right before he says that, I have given you an example that you should do as I have done to you. You want to be happy? Implement the message of Jesus in your life. Now, don't put the cart before the horse because you can't just do the things Jesus told you to do and think that that's going to make you right with God, okay? Because apart from Him, you can do nothing. So you've got to start at the beginning, which is to be born again. You say, how do I start by being born again? Well, you believe in Jesus Christ. You realize that you're a sinner, that you have broken God's law, that you are guilty, and that you need Jesus to forgive you. And you acknowledge that, confess that to Jesus. You tell him, I'm a sinner, please forgive me and save me. And he will, he says he will, he promises that he will. And, and then when you get saved, then you spend the rest of your life consuming the Word of God and then putting it into practice. Learning from Jesus and allowing Him to lead your life. Instead of turning on the TV and learning from the world, instead of emulating some sports hero or some, uh, some politician or reading Karl Marx or reading some conservative author and, and trying to figure out how to be like them, start being like Jesus. Not Gandhi, not Buddha, not Muhammad, Jesus. You, you take his word, and you say, he's my example, I should learn from him. And the, the thing that he says over and over and over again is the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life a ransom for many. And so you become a servant, and you'll be happy. You'll be happy, happy, happy. <laughs> he, says, he says right here, if you know these things, happy are you if you do them. You can know all about them and not do them. You can sit around all day long saying, you know, I need to pray. If I'll pray, it'll make my anxiety go away. But you don't pray, well, guess what? You're not going to be happy because your anxiety is still going to be around. If you want to be happy, you've got to do them. You've got to take what Jesus says and do it. You know, it's really not difficult. It's impossible. It's impossible to do what Jesus has told you to do apart from the Spirit of God. And the only way to have the Spirit of God in you is to be born again. Because when you're born again, the Holy Spirit moves into you. When the Holy Spirit moves into you, then He can live His life through you and bring the fruit of the Spirit out of your life, which is love. And all those other wonderful things that He talks about. Hey, I want to be happy, don't you? I love being happy. Let's take the message of Jesus and put it into practice. If you know these things, 
Happy are you if you do them. Have a great day.